It's a privilege and an honor to introduce the exhibition Strange Days, Memories of the Future, here at the Store X. The exhibition is a um, survey that presents the work of 21 international artists working in video mainly, some of them in film today. The show consciously works with sound, you know, from the very percussive beginning of Camille Ro to to Ed Atkins playing with uh, music like uh, Always On My Mind by Elvis Presley to two Pippi Lotti Rist. Uh, as you go downstairs, there are memories of Justin Timberlake, Crimea River to more obscure sounds. Actually, the lower you go in a sense, and it becomes more about sound rather than music, with the exception maybe of the great Hassan Khan piece and the conclusion with uh, Ragnar Kjartansson and uh, The National. I don't wanna get up for you. I think the exhibition is ultimately an exhibition about dreams and that's why you know many of the screens are sort of hanging in space because they float. But you go through the show guided by sound. I thought it was important that you have this experience of walking and uh, always walking forward, which is a bit like in certain uh, video games where like you have this subjective view. You hear a sound and you follow it, then you see the video, then you move on and you, you have the memory of the sound and the kind of premonition of uh, uh, the following one. What I think the show reveals is, uh, uh, on one hand, a, a omnipervasive presence of music, but also a sense of accessibility to it. You know, there is a lot of appropriated sound and music. Uh, in Khalil Joseph, you know, the narration is actually built through uh, the soundtrack of Sans Soleil, uh, the Chris Marker film. If you think in Ed Atkins, there are found songs. And so there is an idea that the music can also be transformed and it's more found sound rather than composed. Music seems to be the field through which uh, we rediscover our bodies. You know, I think throughout the show, that's really uh, quite peculiar that many of these artists deal with the with technology and the fact that technology had on uh, making our bodies immaterial. And when uh, people find their bodies in these films, it's often through music, you know, Wutsang or uh, uh, Hassan Khan or uh, Ragnar Kjartansson or certain scenes in uh, Fly Paper. Or imagine, you know, with Pippi Lotterist, you go and you sit down, you literally feel your body, you're not standing and you feel it through music. So I think that's a, a recurring element, that music is the tool through which, uh, in a sense, we lose control, because many of these are dancing and, uh, in very uh, liberating ways, but it's also the place or the technique or the occasion in which we feel our body again.